Tesla Giga Berlin moves one step closer to groundbreaking event. Welcome back, friends. This is Armen Harayan from Torque News YouTube channel, reporting daily on Tesla and electric cars. If you are here for the first time, please support our channel by subscribing and liking this video. And let's get started. Tesla's Giga Berlin site is beginning to show some hints that a potential groundbreaking event may be taking place sooner than expected. Recent photos of the Giga Berlin factory complex reveal that construction crews are seemingly preparing to set up the initial stages of the Model Y facility by performing several tests on the site. I said Model Y facility because the Tesla Model Y is going to be the first car produced at Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory next year, probably July of 2021. Our friends Jürgen, Tobias and Albrecht have sent us some very interesting images for today that you're seeing right now on your screens. A tweet from GF for Tesla, our friend Jürgen, indicates that crews are preparing for a load test to make sure that area's ground is stable and ready for foundation work. Several heavy equipment are at the Giga Berlin site, maneuvering large pieces of structural steel on a large expanse of what appears to be gravel. Load testing helps create confidence for construction crews. The results of the test can indicate whether the property is deteriorating or under severe stress, which could cause long-term issues after a structure is built. So here's what Jürgen tweets today on May 26 of 2020. He tweets pictures in which he shows that test piles are preparing for a load test. Also, more containers have been placed at the ground and uh, geolips are being drowned in the sand, waiting for the starting signal. Okay, containers and small trailers are also now present on the Gigafactory's Berlin complex. Containers can be used for storing materials, protecting them from the elements. The trailers are where the site's superintendents will stay during work hours, and we have provided information in the past that Tesla has been adding second shift to keep building the Gigafactory in the evening times and uh, also to make sure they are on track and on course for 2021 July uh, uh, start. Earlier this month, construction crews placed its first pile driver on the Giga Berlin area, hinting at an upcoming groundbreaking event in the near future. Pile drivers provide foundational support for buildings or structures, and Tesla is using this pile support system to build the construction, to build the foundation of Tesla's European first Gigafactory. With the addition of load tests being performed at the site, Tesla seems to be prepared to begin the foundational work of Giga Berlin so it can start construction on the planned Model Y facility as soon as possible. Crews have been working since the first days of 2020 to prepare the land for the eventual German production facility that is expected to employ 12,000 workers. Despite delays from this virus situation and this uncertain economic uh, conditions that we all are in, and some concerns from local citizens that needed to be heard, Tesla remains on schedule. And I think soon, in the next month or so, we will hear the concerns of the local citizens. Like I said, they also need to be heard. The first vehicle that will be built at Giga Berlin is the Model Y electric crossover. The all-electric crossover is not yet available for European region for now, as the ramp of the vehicle is still focused on North American market. It is currently unknown whether the groundbreaking event of Gigafactory Berlin will become an event that Tesla will host. Initially, a groundbreaking event was planned for late March, but the virus situation stopped or halted or delayed any possibility of that happening due to social distancing measures. And Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, had also stated that he is also, he will definitely be at the groundbreaking. So there are two options here. Either Tesla will host it in person and uh, there will be an event as we see the economies of the world are opening or uh, and Elon Musk will travel to Germany to be there in person 
or Tesla may do a live stream or local authorities may do a live stream and we will all see or they just will start continuing the work because we have seen that the work there at Giga Berlin has never stopped since they started the work in the uh, since January, since the beginning of this year, except in a few days or so um, that were holidays with some uh, in some of the cases when the work stopped it was the protest protests by from local citizens but also the judge later allowed the work to continue so the basically work has never started and i think it will quietly continue as we get very very close to the groundbreaking ceremony we don't know whether it's going to be an uh, uh, in-person event local event or uh, i'm sure it probably would be live streamed and we would love to see that and report on that at talk news youtube channel well friends as you can see things are getting very excited with giga berlin tesla's first european giga factory and things in europe are heating up when it comes to electric cars uh, today i learned about a big uh, factory in comments where Mercedes is building its electric uh, batteries. Batteries are very important. If you see a car company working on building its own batteries, that means that company is very serious about electric cars and electric vehicle future. Because without battery, if you're going to depend on batteries from other companies, you're going to be dependent on your suppliers. But if you're building, if you're doing your own research, if you build your own batteries, you know that you have something to share in your vehicles and you know what research and development development you have and you know what to expect from that research and development. Well, friends, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let us know what you think about the possibilities of Giga Berlin's groundbreaking. When do you think it will be? In what format it will be given the conditions of today's situation? And also, in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. I want to thank all our friends from Germany, from Berlin, and especially from Grünheide, when, uh, where uh, Tesla is building its Giga Berlin factory, uh, the third Giga factory, actually the fourth Gigafactory and uh, for their support, for their uh, providing the information and tweets. They're very responsible because they know that we all depend on their information to report these things. And uh, stay safe, take good care of each other, um, and I'll see you in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Take good care and uh, see you soon.